I didn't know anything about it till I was eight years old. And then my, my, my mother was getting married again, and then she told me about my father. But my grandfather was my father to me, you see. He brought me up, and he was an absolutely gorgeous man. So when they spoke about my father, I know it sounds funny, but I wasn't even interested, because I'd never known him. To, to, to me, my father was my grandfather. So you didn't know till you were eight years old that you had been on the Titanic? No, I didn't know till I was eight years old. No. And then, I suppose I was an old child. I was quite, very happy where I was on the farm, my grandfather. So I wasn't awfully interested. I didn't say anything much about it. I didn't say what happened or anything. I think I was quite peculiar, really. <laughs> old child. But then in later years when you came to realise what an amazingly, what a huge tragedy this was, how do you feel about it? Well, that didn't happen until they found the wreck. Because all my life I was just living an ordinary life. I wasn't anything to do with the Titanic. It wasn't until they found the wreck that, uh, well, I began to realise more about it then. So it was, it was a terrible, terrible thing to have happened, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, and all the people going down were like my father, yes. And he was a very handsome man. Very dark, very handsome. And so, so my mother, of course, was heartbroken. Did you ever have any pictures of him or anything? I've only... I only... I never... We never had one. But then when one of my aunts died, not so very long ago, she had a picture of him. So now, I, so now I've got one. It's really nice. How does it feel that you are the last surviving person from the Titanic in the I, world? Well, I just don't think anything about it. That's, that's me again, not bothering. I'm the last survivor, so I am. So that's it. <laughs>